Give me one second here. How to make this pole thing so people know where they can donate to me. <sighs> Happy holidays, everybody! Hello, Sharon. God bless you. Happy holidays. Now, anybody who's watching this. I want you to know today is the day of a very monumental decision. Um, that <clears throat> um, I've made this decision before, but didn't continue to follow through. And I'm doing this experiment <clears throat> by trying this again to see if TikTok will honor me if I, if I really don't beg anymore on that, I'm about to make a video. God bless you guys. God bless. Please, please like the live stream. Click on that heart react option a bunch if you could. <clears throat> Hello, Lynn. God bless you. <clears throat> okay, I'm about to make this TikTok video saying I'm done begging on TikTok. <clears throat> Okay, TikTok, y'all, y'all won, y'all, 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 y'all got me. <clears throat> Hold on, let me read. <laughs> okay, TikTok, I'm done begging on your platform. I've said this before, but then went back because you know homelessness is a real issue, and um, it makes life a lot easier when I just directly ask for money. And I've been able to help other homeless people that way too. But um, they keep on taking down my accounts. And the past few times they told me that the reason was for violating the regulated goods and commercial activities policy. Uh, now I looked through that several, several times. And I haven't done anything in that. Um, you know, but... I think they're trying to make clear to me that they, they, they don't want me begging on their platform directly for cash. So I'm just going to stop doing that on TikTok and hope I'm going to hopefully try to get a thousand followers and go live and do matches, live matches to try to earn gift money. And then maybe eventually I'll get 10,000 followers again and uh, get get some cr creativity program money, but I'm just gonna stop begging on here because I'm hoping that you know if I do this, then th th they won't they won't keep on taking down my accounts. That they won't have a reason to at, at all. You know what I'm saying? Because it's nowhere in the rules saying that you can't beg, but I'm feeling like that's the reason. So God bless you guys. Please follow me. God bless. Hello, Julie. One second, you guys. Hello, Julie. Hello, Lynn. Can anybody please spare a dollar today, please? 
Can anybody please spare a dollar today? It's a quick question. Who pays for your cup? Uh, I, I do. Um, it's, uh, someone named Austin Tamargo, which is me, Derek. Can anybody please spare a dollar today? Can anybody please spare a dollar today? Hello, VTONTV. God bless you. Can anybody please spare a dollar today? Hello, Chris from Boston. How you doing? Good afternoon, Marky. Yeah, that's 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 the conclusion I came to. Oe, a hundred. I I I really believe that's true. I I I sincerely believe that they they just want to force me to let them get their cut. You know. They're like the mafia boss. Hey, I got, I got to wet my beak a little. Come on. I got to wet my, let me wet my beak a little. You're not going to let me wet my beak to get out of here. <laughs> what am I going to eat today if I get money for food? Um, because I've been gang stalked for so long that, um, I don't answer questions like that because whether or not it really is a veiled attempt to find my location and stalk me um you know it, it it can give information to other people who are currently in my life uh for the purpose of trying to stalk me god bless you though I got some Gatorade left right here. <clears throat> I'm not feeling good today either, Chris. Emotionally. I'm feeling depressed and hopeless. Can anybody please spare a dollar today, please? <clears throat> Can anybody please spare a dollar today? God bless y'all. So you get some rest. I, I literally just woke up an hour or so ago. I got a lot of rest last night. <laughs> I don't need to sleep anymore. I need to try to beg for money so I can continue to eat and survive.
go tell on the mountain go tell it on the shores go tell it on the mountain go tell it on the shores go tell it on the mountain Go tell it on the shores. <clears throat> Look at all these people stalking me. Talking about, I thought you were in the woods. Oh, wh where are you? <laughs> Stop stalking me. Stop stalking me. You guys are crazy. Oh my god, these people are so crazy. Thank you so much. Somebody sent me five dollars and said, not sure why you can't see my comments on YouTube. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about that either. M maybe try leaving the live and coming back. I, I I don't I don't know what's going. Look, let me make sure I'm on. Yeah, I'm on live chat. <clears throat> Stop stalking me. You don't need to know where I am. I know you people come after mentally ill people and make them feel like they need to disclose their location to you. I do not need to tell you where I am. I am homeless in my car outside. You don't need to know any other part about my location. Hello, Trisha. God bless you. <laughs> Stop stalking me. Thank you, Chris. God bless you. I have five dollars so far today. Thank you so much. Thank you so so much <clears throat> to the person who just donated me five dollars on Cash App. That's the first donation of the day and the largest donation of the day, y'all. So the person who sent that, they are the MVP. <clears throat> Say, can't people get in trouble for game stalking? Um, I think they probably could, but you know, the simple fact is that the police or whatever agency could keep track of that does not care enough about homeless people to launch an investigation and try to bring these people to justice. If I was a rich person who owned some capitalist business, then they would have launched investigations, imprisoned people, you know, the whole nine yards. But I'm just a homeless man. The the, the police and, and, and the government agencies don't really care that p there's hundreds of people stalking, harassing a homeless person. You know, they, they really just don't. And, 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 and in fact, they will even go further and blame the homeless person, blame the person who's being stalked, you know, to to avoid having to uh, do anything about it. If I was rich, 
This would have happened. That's that's why they come after after us homeless people because we're vulnerable. We don't have protection. We don't have security, and we don't even have the officials in society wanting to bring us justice. We the they just think we're we're lazy, good for nothing people, just like most other people do. You know, because they're not they're not gonna actually take seriously. You know, what I go through with all this stuff and they just blame me for, it, you know, tell me, oh, why don't you look, this is the honest response of the cops. Oh, why don't you just get a job then? Like, 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 literally, <laughs> there's people doing illegal actions against me. It's illegal to do what they're doing to me. But the cops would just tell me, oh, why don't you get a job? Because they don't care about us homeless. The, the cops are an agent of the wealthy. Okay, they work for the interests of the ruling class to enforce their dominance on the lower classes. It is the police's job to enforce the, that the poor people stay in line with what the rich people tell them to do. Okay, it's, it's not. And there's actually a court ruling that said it's not the job of police to protect the citizens. So, sorry about that, y'all. I had to uh, go accept this payment. I'm very, very grateful, you guys. Thank you so much. Can you guys believe this? I swear to God, you guys will not believe this. Two people. Two people. Um, <clears throat> sent me $20 just now. Two entirely different people. One person on PayPal and one person on Cash App. Thank you so, so much to both of those people. You guys are both the MVPs right now. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I definitely got enough for food and gas for another day, and I'm grateful for that. Um, now, I, w I wanna, the same person who sent me a, uh, $5 and said, I don't know why you can't see my comments. She said, I don't know why I have donated before I see you. Um, you know, may maybe, you know, and I, I hope you honor this because it, it would be me admitting a, a mistake. Maybe I accidentally uh, blocked you or muted you. I don't, I know I didn't mute. I know I didn't mute anyone with your name today. So I could have accidentally blocked you from commenting um, because I, I don't know why you, I wouldn't be able to see comments either. You know, I, I don't remember blocking somebody with your name intentionally. Uh, I hope that's not the case, but, uh, you know, I actually can use my other phone to check. Okay. Because I do appreciate you. And if that's the case, I didn't mean to. Oh my God. Oh my god, guys, we have a new, oh, well, we had two MVPs, one of the MVPs, that's it, because two people, like I just said a few minutes ago, both sent me $20 on Cash App, man, I feel so blessed today, I'm, I'm so grateful, man, oh my god, it's, it's, it, it feels like a weight just fell off my chest and my shoulders, like a huge weight just fell off you know like and emotionally it just i feel so much better right now like you know i i i know that i'm good for today you know i'm i'm good for today and i got a little money i can put aside i'm trying to save up to get a apartment or a place to live a room somewhere or something and uh 
like I said, two people sent me $20 a few minutes ago, and they were both the MVP. Whoever sends the largest donation is the MVP, so they tied for the MVP. And then one of those people just sent me $40 on Cash App. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to that person. I appreciate you so much. God bless you. I hope God blesses you so much for your kindness to me today. Thank you. I feel I feel so much better. Um and somebody else sent me a dollar on Cash App. So, you know what? I am um, Sorry, I want First, I want I, I want to make sure to try to unblock that person if I block them by accident. So please allow me to do that real quick. Hey, 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 thank you so much. That same person who I accidentally I might have accidentally blocked just sent me ten dollars on cash app so before um i calculate those donations and put that towards what i'm saving up for a place to live and you know see how much the goal is now um i'm trying to go on my youtube on this phone and try to see if i accidentally blocked this person And I, I I think facts, Chris. That one person sent me sixty dollars today. You usually usually I make the MVP. Uh, whoever sent the uh, largest single donation, but maybe I should make it the total and, and acknowledge the total. I think you're right. Uh, I do not do anything like that, Central Valley. I don't appreciate you saying that about me. I, I think that person told me their username. Now it's telling me I have no users currently blocked, I guess. Let's see. Maybe there's a settings, you know. Okay, there's a different settings. Maybe I'll have to go to YouTube.com because it's it's telling me I don't have any blocked people, but I know I got a lot of blocked people. Maybe just the app wants to bring, maybe that's my Google settings or something. What's up, Miss Lopez? Um, I've had a lot of up and downs lately. Uh, to be to to be a uh, frank uh i've had a lot of ups and downs lately <laughs> a lot of ups and downs but today feels like an up day you know today uh one one single person sent me $60 i'm very grateful to that person another person sent me $20 another person sent me about $16 so i'm very i'm very blessed today I'm I'm very blessed. I'm sorry. I'm looking away from the screen and at this phone because the person who sent me sixteen dollars, uh, they actually said that their comments aren't showing up. So I'm thinking maybe I accidentally blocked them or something. So I'm try I'm trying to go on my YouTube account on the website and try. You know, that's why I said uh, YouTube makes it a lot harder to unblock somebody. So that's a warning for anybody. <laughs> Any Anybody, please don't be mean to me on YouTube because it's very hard for me to unblock you.
have you ever done something like thought of something like van live live content because from my perspective everything i've been doing also qualifies as van life content even though i'm begging it's van life begging you know <laughs> i mean like is there something else specific i'm supposed to do for it to be considered authentic van life content what am i supposed to do have a mini stove in here and, and, and cook a meal and then it's like oh look at him making a little meal <laughs> i can't afford a little stove right now though Okay, guys. I'm try. I'm trying to find. Does, does anybody know where you find the people you blocked on YouTube? Does anybody know where you can go to find your list of blocked people on YouTube? Because I cannot find it. On TikTok, you can literally just click on a button on the live and unblock somebody right there in the live. On YouTube, it's like, it's hard to find, you know... anything really it's hard to find yes I do have a Facebook it's Austin Joseph Tamargo I believe Thank you. Uh, somebody sent me a dollar on Cash App six minutes ago and said, no one wants to read a book about you, dumbass. Ha. God bless you. A and somebody, the same person sent me a dollar and they told me their name. I'm not going to repeat it here because... I think uh, you might not want me to do that, but I'm I'm still trying to find uh, to find out how to unblock you if you're blocked. I'm still not finding it though. Thank you, Trisha. God bless you. Hope you have a good day. Where am I from? Uh, I spent the first years of my life in New York. Uh, and then most of my childhood in uh, North Carolina. Yeah, I feel bad because I really can't find it. Maybe somebody could look it up and tell me. Or if not, I'll look it up later because looking at this phone so much is messing up my viewers, I think. I I'm going to try to look it up after the live, I promise. You can also make a different channel, I think, or something, but... I know you might not want to do that. I'm still going to try to look, figure it out later.
Thank you, Miss Lopez. You said the chat can't see me either. I checked my setting. <clears throat> I, I feel so bad, but I promise I will try to figure it out more after this live. Okay, I, I promise you, I will figure out how how to unblock people after this live. I just can't distract myself too much with it right now. I really do appreciate you and I'll try to make sure I do that. Thank you. That person who who her comments can't be seen, she said uh she said no worries. I hope when I can. I appreciate you. I promise I'll try to see try to figure that out after this live. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, the Ghost Whisperer. You know, it, it's... It's fucked up, but the, the thing is, TikTok knows what kind of culture they create with their app. But the thing is, their algorithm and them allowing this mass bullying and mass harassment and stalking of people, them allowing these things creates such a captivating you know uh thing for an audience you know it, it it makes people addicted to wanting to see the drama you know and they're profiting off of allowing these people to continue to harass and stalk people and bully them online Yeah, they, they took 300 something dollars, well, almost three, it was 200 something, so almost $300 in gifts from me. And I did uh, submit reports on new accounts I made, and they even told me, after further review, your account is going to be continued to be banned due to violating our regulated goods and commercial activities policy everybody knows i did not have no regulated goods and part of the commercial activities it says frauds and scams in there i looked at it now everybody knows i'm not frauding or scamming anybody but they take these people's side saying i'm a scammer because they want to force me to ask for gifts instead of getting directly donated to on Cash App, PayPal, or Venmo. <sighs> so.
So I just made a video on, on my new TikTok, Austin Tamargo 3. Oh no, Austin Tamargo 123. And I said, you know, okay, TikTok, I'm, I won't beg on, on this platform anymore. I'm still going to beg on YouTube because YouTube doesn't persecute homeless people, you know. And I, I'm I'm grateful, you know, and it shows me that, you know, like I said, I need I need to make a actually I've been waiting to make this video. I need to make this video right now asking Elon Musk to buy TikTok. Elon Musk, please buy TikTok. Okay, people are getting banned left and right every day. People like me, homeless people who just go on there and ask for support and have supporters. We we, we have TikTok enabling all these people to harass and, and stalk people like me and then falsely report me and take our accounts down. Now, I am a communist, but this guy on this channel, Second Thought, recently reminded me, you know, we, we, we're not against individual rich people because we acknowledge anybody would do what they do in their situation. We just want to change the system to legally not, not allow them to exploit everybody, you know what I'm saying? But for right now, all I'm saying is I seen what you did to Twitter and I'm getting persecuted by TikTok. I'm just saying, yo, please just just buy TikTok and, and, and let all of us unjustly banned people come back. Please buy TikTok, man. You you, you will be the best uh, guy in the world if you do that. You said you got banned at over 300K because church people trolled you? Are you for real, bro? That's you know you know that that's that's what I hate about TikTok, man. I, I I can't stand that about about TikTok. So that's 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 what that's what I hate about TikTok. It and somebody just commented, oh, one day you'll realize. It's not about you being homeless. It's that you're only begging. That's not true. Uh, because there's other people who do the same thing who are who don't have as much a, a, of a hate group against them, you know, that aren't, aren't taken down by TikTok, okay? It's, bec it's literally the fact that TikTok will just side with the mob you know if there's a mob of if there's a virtual mob coming after you filing false reports telling everybody to mass report you and you're even if you're not doing anything wrong tiktok will take that mob side and 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 it's fucked up you know there needs somebody needs to buy tiktok and change this whole thing so they report all my stuff That's crazy, the Ghost Whisperer. <sighs> For anyone who watches later, he said, oh yeah, they bullied me the most, calling me Mr. The Devil. They reported all my stuff and putting Bible scriptures on all my videos. That's crazy. And, and, and you know, it's, it's, it's not right, you know? Like, it's not right for some rich guy to just allow these mo virtual mobs to go after people and take down all the success that they've built on that platform. You know, that's why in socialism, we would have these platforms be publicly owned, you know, with rules that virtual mobs can't come after somebody and falsely report them and get them taken down you know where they actually have to be violating the guidelines to have their ta account taken down you know there actually has to be proof and then if so if somebody lied a moderator on tiktok lied and banned me for for s saying i'm disobeying the guidelines when i'm not 
then they could be legally charged with a crime. That's what I want under socialism. For people who work at these social media companies to be charged with a crime for maliciously allowing virtual mobs to go after them and make their life a living hell. They should be charged with a crime for this and this is what we would have under socialism. I it, and it is a crime. You know, it's a it's, it's criminal what they're doing. They, and, and it's all part of a larger capitalist plot to keep us poor people down. They, they don't want us to come up, man. You, you're a good, honest trucker. The ghost whisperer. You, you're literally a trucker. What, 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 what those same people would call the backbone of America, right? Meanwhile, you get 300,000 followers on a social media app. That's, that's hugely successful. And, and, and they take down all that work you've done just because some people didn't like you and mass reported you. They don't respect you as the backbone of, of America to them. You're just another worker who needs to stay in his place and stay at the bottom. It's crazy. Yeah, unfortunately. <clears throat> Give me one because as you can see, My connection is messing up right now. I'm going to try to... I, th I think if I close the app, though, it might... It, I might not be able to come back. It's fucked fucked up right now okay so it's so much lagging I think I might have to I'm gonna restart this. I'm gonna restart this because it's lagging so much. Mm -hmm. 